Don't believe everything you read on the internet, especially on April <laughs> Fool's Day. Our own Dan Nathan took to Twitter on Saturday to play a little prank. He changed his name, picture to mimic Elon Musk, and quote tweeted an actual Musk tweet from January in which the Tesla CEO called Dan a doofus. Dan's joke tweet read, just kidding, Dan a risk reversal is not a doofus, and he has one of the best heads of hair in the media. I'm considering adding him as an independent Twitter board Ruth. member. And just like that, Dan's Twitter account was slapped with a permanent suspension for breaking the company's rules. So Dan created a new account, Dan Nathan RR, which I'm sure will be shut down momentarily. <laughs> <laughs> and reached out to the social nice. media site support staff saying, I tweeted an April Fool's Ugh. joke that was not offensive or threatening. Why was my account permanently suspended for trolling Elon Musk, the free speech warrior? Did you hear anything, Dan? Uh, yeah, and I, and I spelled speech wrong uh, on the Twitter because I don't pay for blue, so I can't edit my tweets there. And you know, listen, I, I, maybe it's the hair comment. I, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty fantastic. I mean, I, you say it all I the time, yeah. and, and so thank good. you, thank you. Um, but here's the deal, okay? He bought it, um, he broke it, he owns it. It's worth much less than he paid for it when he paid 44 billion dollars in October. I think they just marked it down to 20 billion. He can do whatever he wants with it. I've been on Twitter since March of 2011. We've been live tweeting. We've been engaging with the people who watch this show. We've been doing a whole heck of a lot. We don't punch down like some people do on this platform. We don't spread misinformation, that sort of thing. And so I just kind of find it interesting. There was a tweet back in November of uh, 2022 on the 28th where Elon Musk said, this is a battle for the future of civilization. He's talking about free speech here. Right. So he bought this in the notion of free speech. But if he can't make an April Fool's joke on his platform, it just seems kind of well, goofy, especially a platform. And I just want to make this. It's not political comment, OK? But right now, you know, one of the first things that he did back in November is reinstated uh, former President Trump. President Trump used this platform to spread misinformation about uh, uh, an election that he lost. He used the platform to incite a deadly attack on our nation's capital. And that gentleman so can get reinstated. Marjorie Taylor Greene was also pushing. She gets reinstated back in November. So it just seems kind of odd to me. Um, and listen, it's his. You do whatever we want. Have at it, people. Well, now he's got one other account. That's I mean, now, now yeah. the numbers look even better because, <laughs> and then you, you, Which, he'll probably suspend this one. You'll create. Well, here's the other one, thing. So. This is really important, and I'll let you guys get in here. You know, the New York Times they didn't opt to go to blue. Okay, so they don't have a check mark here, and it's kind of interesting that all of this happened on April Fools, where they were changing this sort of thing. Yeah. We already know when they try to do this. This is going to be a big mess. And listen, if you lose people who have big followings and they're just not engaging with it anymore, all the other people who have six followers they're just not going to be there either. And then you lose the advertisers, and then this thing is just kaput. Yeah. What do you think? Well, it's clear that Elon Musk and Dan are not going anywhere hand in hand. <laughs> I love what you did. You know what so they're not Romeo and Juliet. No, no, no they're yeah. not by no, any stretch. Feels like a skate away to me. Is this like a dire straits? It is. Yeah. It is. Okay. Yeah. Right. We just got some great songs. He's kind of acting like a free speech Karen a little bit. You know what I mean? That's not a dire straits song. No, no, but it could be. Okay. Mark creative. That's news, I guess, huh? Yeah. So who benefits, like, right? If it, if it all goes down the toilet, as Dan's saying, this is sort of an example of how it's going down the toilet. Him alienating people and people, you know, well, listen, organizations. This was, this was the story yeah. after he alienated all the, the advertisers. They all left. And so their advertising revenue in December was down like, you know, like 40% or something. Where did they go? Well, they're Hopefully. going to Meta. They're going Hopefully to, they're going to Meta yeah. and Google and YouTube and yeah. TikTok. Well, the, the check mark is something that, that I think gave credibility and, and certainly gave some sense of confidence in what you're getting from certain people and what you're willing to get. So, the, the, look, Twitter as a medium is, I, I think, been wildly valuable, real-time news, especially for certain sectors um, from the minute I've been on it. And, and it would be a shame if it no longer was a place. And I think we all have a pretty decent barometer on picking through what's garbage and what's not. But if it's getting worse, it's not a good thing for anybody.